old people pass, sadly, we do all have to say, may their souls rest in peace, and which is absolutely true. We then reminisce quite often about their life. Um, a lifetime is, is a long one, and in the case of E.T. Mensa, that is 77 years. Very few people can profess to have known him for the 76, 77 years apart from those who are blood and those who are very close. I do not profess that. What I do, though, is uh, express a time that I entered into sport in Ghana, the time where things were completely different to what they are today. And um, I came at a time where we felt there needed to be a revolution, an evolution and a revolution. I'm not a proponent of revolutions, I'm a proponent of evolution. But certainly during the time of E.T. Mensah as Minister of Youth and Sports, it was a time, for me, of revolution. A time in which we had to get Kumasi Asante Kotoko from being a club that could not honour a league match, could not field enough players to travel to Cape Coast to play Dwarfs, a team that was in such a dire state where its great players, the Copsons and Yaosechis, had all left paperless, as it would seem, to out from Kotoko, where former chairman had believed they had been treated unjustly and had taken players to suede raw blacks, where Ash Gold, on the upsurge, had taken a lot of his best players. Why do I mention this? Because at the time, E.T. Mensah was Minister of Youth and Sports. He had started his own idea of a evolution revolution, where clubs had to be treated as limited liability outfits, which is a great positive, that the league needed to be better looked at to obtain or to retain its greatness from yesteryear. He had his visions for the national teams that saw Ghana have huge successes at the junior levels, internationally, and there was a buzz. And then I came onto the scene, and my conflicts with E.T. Mensa are well documented, publicly, openly, on radio. They were tough, they were vicious, they were direct. And um, they took Ghana by surprise. My aim was to rebuild Kotoko from where it is coming from the ashes and to raise it up so that at some point, whoever took over would be able to take it on and upwards and back to the glory of where it deserved to be. My belief was always that Kotoko first and then Hearts should be up there where today we see those who have been better managed over the period, El Ali, the TP Mazembe's and the rest, that is where Kotoko and Hearts and Ghana football deserves to be. And so did E.T. Mensa. We just had different philosophies. What I respected about E.T. Mensa and what is missing today is the fact that we could have the most serious of confrontations and yet within 30 minutes or an hour or two E.T. Mensa would pick up the phone, or me, vice versa, and he would now want to discuss something, as well as what has been said, and move on. There was one occasion where I had a situation where Komla Dumont called me at Joy, um, and then he called E.T. Mensa, it was very early in the morning, and it was a heavy exchange, and when we finished, I was getting on my day when E.T. called me and asked me to come and see him immediately at the ministry. So I drove. Then he told me that I was out of order. He said, look, you're out of order. When we finished it, then we started discussing where we'd go next. We had conflicts on June 4th, where I refused to let Kumasi Asante Kotoko play, unless it is that we were treated professionally, and we argued backwards and forwards, sometimes in the presence of the late Elaji Jawula. And in the end, he understood. He understood that there was a need for us to go professional. And so the majority of the gate fees and the sponsorship money always came to Kotoko. And then we would play. 
So there was a lot in terms of that movement and that growth, that repositioning. And I have to say that it came, even though everybody was afraid of Ichimansa in those days, but it came at a time where very few people realized that despite his very strong-headedness and he was fearsome to many people in terms of his authority, he had that one quality that very few politicians have today. And that is, you can fight today, but the greater good of football or sports was of paramount importance. So I say, E.T., rest in peace. I will always consider you positively and as a friend.